Hello friends, my name is Kailash Sharma and in this video we are going to learn about how to get list of file names from a folder and subfolder using Power Query. For the purpose of demo we have some sample files here you can see a uh, few are XLS files, few are uh, presentation, PDF, notepad, it does have some subfolders also inside it you will find few files. So our target here is to get this list including the subfolders also in a Excel file using Power Query. So let's do that. For that we are going to create a new file and we'll go to the data here get data from file and from folder. We'll click on this and here we will select the folder which contains all the files which is sample files and you see this is the preview of what it has got it has got the list of files and its details about which path it is so let's customize it little bit so we'll click on transform data and it will load to the query now here let's say this content we don't need this this is actually the file itself it contains into this and we are not looking for this so let's click on remove and let's say we also need the size of this file so which is part of attribute so we'll click on it and we will look for size here it is and this and let's rename it also it is size and let's say that is all so we'll click on close and load it should bring the result here here it is so you will get this all the details in just a click of button using refresh if new files are placed so let's say that there is a requirement of only excel files that you wanted to list so what you can do for that you will go to the query edit this query and we'll customize a little bit more so the result which we have got what we can do is we can make use of this extension yeah so here we'll click and we'll say text filters contains so all the excel files normally contain xls format so we'll click on xls contains so it should bring all the files which contains xls uh, extension it includes normal as well as macro enabled also and maybe the older version files also so this way we have filtered this and again click on close and load it should bring the updated query result so here it is it has got it five results now let's say we will what we will do is we'll make a copy and paste of this file which is now become book 3 copy and let's go back and refresh this so what we get is we start getting the new uh, file result also so that way you can make use of power query to get this list of files in a folder and subfolder thank you very much for watching this video